I see it out there. I see commentary that if you just build great games, everything would turn around. It's just not true that if we go off and build great games, all of a sudden you're going to see console share shift in some dramatic way. Credit where credit is due. Phil Spencer, head of Xbox, went on to Kinda Funny and said some Kinda Funny stuff. Hello, beta testers. Dreadfall has released low reviews and a lot of disappointment from many fans. There's nothing that's more difficult than disappointing the Xbox community. Not at all true. In fact, you could say that Xbox players are used to disappointment. And among the many things that Redfall fails to do, it succeeds with flying colors at disappointing the community. Just to kind of watch the community lose confidence, be disappointed, I'm disappointed. I can summarize Redfall in one phrase. Redfall is so bad that it made shills honest. Comment in the comment section below how you would summarize this game. I'm upset with myself. I think back to the announcement of 60 frames per second, and then we weren't shipping 60 frames per second. Mo, you're upset with yourself, Phil Spencer. Is that all? You know, this is your first party, hyped up, $70 exclusive. Always online, looter, shooter, a first person shooter, pathetically capped at 30 FPS. Even though you claim pre launch it was going to be 60, it still says 60 FPS on the box. Your remedy was to throw a sticker on that bad boy. How, how many balls have you dropped? Most people would give up trying to count. But that's not the worst part of Redfall, an empty world, terrain refusing to load when you're standing, staring at it, enemies clipping through the map, 15 year old enemy AI, no cutscene having broke ass game and forgive my vernacular i don't mean broke as in broken even though that game is that as well i mean it as in cheap but i've come to understand that my eyes work a little bit better than people's if i may direct your attention to my reaction to the reveal of redfall over 10 months ago you had yeah this looks cheap y'all led with this man i don't even care what this is this looks cheap you know, Redfall used to be oh, a this looks a picturesque guy, but the Oh my god, this and so isn't the world and these are vampires. These aren't your these trashy movies. Blocked out the sun. It looks last gen. This game hasn't come out yet. Probably won't be out for another six months to a year. And look how stiff it looks. Look how dated this looks. I see it out there. I see commentary that if you just build great games, everything would turn around. It's just not true that if we go off and build great games, all of a sudden you're going to see console share shift in some dramatic way. Whoa! If we just focused more on great games on our console, that somehow we're going to win the console race, and it doesn't really lay into the reality of most people. I think the problem is you're just uneducated. Well, there it is, straight from clown Phil Spencer's mouth. He can't seem to agree that games are what Xbox needs. And here we thought that was the end goal. Here I am again at the reveal for Redfall. Xbox hasn't been on top since the 360. If you feel a different way, I'm sorry you're wrong, bro. But the point of them skipping a whole last generation was that they were supposed to be securing the studios to make it so that they would dominate in the future. Cause they got all the studios and therefore they got all the games. But what is this? This looks like it could easily be a 10 year old game. There is no world where Starfield's an 11 out of 10 and people start selling their PS5. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you talking to? I see it out there. I see commentary that if you just build great games, everything would turn around. It's just not true. What's going on with you? What are you talking about? You sound insane. Who's saying that, Phil Spencer? Who's saying that Starfield getting an 11 out of 10 is going to make people go up and sell their PlayStation 5s? You know that in your hypothetical, people already own the better console? I think that's kind of funny, too. 
You know that recognizing the pressure on Starfield emphasizes how bad a state Redfall is in, and that the situation demanding your pacification at all betrays just what kind of situation Xbox is in entirely. And if you go listen to more of Phil Spencer talk, this madman gonna try to convince people that he's taking full responsibility and being accountable. So delist Redfall. You can keep it on Game Pass, but you're selling this game for $70. Remember when Sony delisted Cyberpunk? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Uh, what can we learn? How can we get better? The idea that Phil was not aware of the state that Redfall was in and that it wasn't just hastily kicked out of the door is ludicrous. How low? How low can you go? Xbox sales can go lower than I ever really thought they could. Face down, ass up. The top of the booty jiggling out them jeans. Just kidding, it is flat as fuck. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm a gamer. And that's why I can speak with a bit of confidence as it pertains to what players want. These guys aren't even interested in hiring consultants. They don't care. They've got their own focus. And the people that they do care about a little bit of consultation from it's all the wrong people and if i can yeah i gotta get out of here and if i can put it in perspective for you imagine imagine a bunch of people who really liked the saints row reboot informing how another game should be developed you think that's gonna go well because we see what creators want. creators want to build games that can meet players on any screen in my opinion an apology ain't gonna cut it on this one phil it's nice to hear you admitting defeat in your position as well behind the competition but considering how clear it is with what you've betrayed that you don't know what you should be doing the mismanagement of the studios is probably not even that high on the priority list. I'm thankful for Redfall because, in the same way that Avengers made it so, that's not going to be a thing they can get away with again, Sushi Squad. Redfall will subconsciously teach people to be a bit more discerning, to scrutinize what it is they're seeing and hearing, and what's presented to people. If you made it this far in the video, I love you to death. Please like, leave a comment, and join if that's what you're into. Discord links in the description. Subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I want to start covering some Spider-Man stuff because I've been working on a lot of art that I'd finally like to showcase. But I'd like your input. Should I include the Jamarquay cover with the AI art of Spider-Man? Or should that be its own different video? See you in the next one. I hope for all of our sake that games can get back to being fun, especially when they're expensive. Huh, 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 get the Spider Man, huh, 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 I do Spider Man, huh, 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 I do Spider Man, Get out of my way. You know, what's so hard about that? Give us games where we can do that. Simple.